Today, that, that also the judiciary, the producers are going to address my court. Judiciary also said the power plant has to go on. Today, yes. that's the lead, that lead petition, uh, lead petition that's coming up in the Supreme Court. Probably that would be some reply for them. All that needs to be done, probably, are that a, for a solution that which I see probably is a dialogue that needs to be engaged between the government and the, the protectors, mm. the villagers, the people, common man, forget the leaders of the yes. movement, but the common man here, and they are fears, so that they are at least taking a hold like this and start taking and they can understand the pros and cons, okay. and the government can also ensure that everything is taken care of. Remember the app, just be on the phone line, just be on the phone line, and even as you are, of course, speaking to people on the ground, understanding their brows, be on the phone line as I take our viewers through exactly what is happening at this point of time. The pictures that you are seeing is not really of a picturesque beach where people are just enjoying a good time in the sea. This is another embarrassment in the making because this news will also generate international headlines just like it had in uh, in Madhya Pradesh as far as the Jal Satyagraha is concerned. Another sort of a Jal Satyagraha happening this time not perhaps in dam water but in the open sea very close to the reactor there at Kudamkulam where people are taking to the seas in protest against the government high-handedness that has happened over the last few days the fact that there is fuel a nuclear fuel that is being loaded onto the reactor and the fact that there are many many anti-nuclear plant activists who have been arrested or would be arrested in few days and that is why to protest this uh, people taking to the seas another innovative way of protesting. The problem, however, is as Priyam Bada is pointing out that the government is in no mood to negotiate because it's saying that the matter is anyways in the court. They will only listen to the court. There is no process of dialogue. There is no process of reconciliation with the people. There is no process of listening to perhaps some of the valid grouses. And of course, there is the question of can their fears be allayed? that no, perhaps a tsunami cannot damage this reactor, that there are adequate safety precautions that have been taken. As Priyamada was again pointing out, that not all recommendations really have been taken into consideration. Remember, this is not a state-of-the-art reactor. This is an older generation reactor that is only coming online now and that has only increased the fears of the people, specifically after the Fukushima disaster, because this is also a reactor that is based very, very close to the sea and could be hypothetically open to the threat of a tsunami. These people continue to be in water. The question is how long will they be in water? The question is will they try to come close to the reactor or they will stay at a safe distance where the police can just monitor them and hope that these protests die down on their own. Priyambada, the other valid question that arises at this point of time is that the, there is a new strategy that we are seeing the government adopt. Let people protest, let their whole protest die down on their own. That is exactly what they did with Anna Hazare, gave them the silent treatment. The silent treatment is being given here also. Will that do any good in the long run, Priyambada? Yes, that is the strategy for the police right now. But we do not know if this can depend on whether this protest is going to dwell beyond Idin Dakarai. Also, the sentiments of people of Tamil Nadu. You know, that's the tricky situation here because the middle class in Tamil Nadu and the elite class in Tamil Nadu are, are being told that a power crisis can be solved only if this power plant comes. So, is there complete support? And that is why the protesters are also having their own strategy. They brought in Adhan K. Drivar. They are trying to garner support from the smaller political parties because both the ADMK and DMK have categorically, categorically denied support for the protesters. So they are trying to garner support from the other groups. So they want to know, they are trying to take this protest beyond Idin Dakare, beyond Tamil Nadu, to the national level. Abhir, Arindati Roy, Aranu Raj, Asana Roy, yes. all of them are giving them support. It just it shows that they do not want to give up. They want to make it bigger. So that is the strategy by the protesters. But as far as the government is concerned, they don't want bad names. But two days before the class mm. itself has drawn a lot of class, a lot of criticism, a lot of critics uh, have written about it. Yes. So they don't want to mess up with the situation. Yes. Otherwise, when such a huge crowd is gathering in the, on the sea show, on the sea, uh, we, we don't, on the first slide, we don't see a reason why police shouldn't be here. But they have taken a very informed decision mm. to maintain restraint, race and war. 
their now main customer is to know a Budai Kumar will surrender. He had promised to surrender but has not surrendered till this minute. Also whether he will be arrested or not. Yes. I think that's going to be the next strategy of the police and the predators. We'll have to wait and see who is going to win in this market. Who is going to win in this package game between the two groups.